Hey guys, today I'll be reviewing Transformers Combiner Wars Deluxe Class Vortex. This was my first Combaticon out of out of this wave, which was wave five, I think. Yeah, it was wave five. This is the first guy I, I got, and I really, really love this guy. This is my favorite favorite deluxe class of Combiner Wars. And I only have like 12, 12, 12 Com Combiner Wars Deluxes. I didn't really get all of them because there simply were just repaints and repaints every, every wave. Like Wave 2, the Wave 2 Combiner Menosaur was repainted as Optimus, the Optimus model, like two Optimus Primes in that series. There's a white one. And I guess they call him Optimus, the white version, the white version, they call him Optimus. When he's actually Nova Prime, or he actually looks like Nova Prime. I still have him right there, bottom. But here he, here is Vortex, and Vortex is my favorite figure, and my favorite character of the combat Combaticons. He's just really cool, like, I really love the paint on him, like, he's really, 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 really great. And I love this mode, this is my favorite mode, the Alpha Bravo mode. Alpha Bravo, really love this mode, it's my favorite mode of Combiner Wars. I have Alpha Bravo here, but I don't know if I should get him, he's with Superion. I think I'm going to take it off. And here I have Alpha Bravo, just going to transform him. Just pretty simple, from his arm mode. So yeah, here, here he is with, with Vortex, and he's just a repaint of... Alpha Bravo, which I don't really mind since since I he's my favorite mode of the entire line, and I still want to get blades. Still, oh, the only uh, the only protective bots I have are Hotspot and what's his name Groove. I have him, and yeah, that's the only two protective bots I have. Legends class Groove, not Deluxe one. I could care less about the Deluxe because I don't really really like the skill on him, so. Here they are, they are, and I don't have the gun with him. I lost him somehow. I don't know how I lost it. I just don't know. So here is off. Here is Vortex with his gun right here. And the paint, it's a lot different from him. There's some purple right here, Decepticon logo right there, some yellow right here, and some red right here. Some purple still there, and some yellow right here. Red on his eyes and some purple line right there. So yeah, he's kind of just like a shatter glass off of Bravo. And I really, really like this guy. So for articulation, he has ball joint right here, sewer right here. And you see he has been played well with. I don't like the I guess they're ratchets with this with the the, the new transformers. They start to get like this because it's a really, really bad plastic quality with the new new Transformer figures. I don't like that, so it might get worse over time, so yeah. There's Vulture right here, all the way around. I only have three combiners, or four, technically four. I have Bruticus, and Mensor, and Superion, and Devastator. I don't know why you say that, but... So, yeah, for, for articulation, he has a sword right here, too, and bent to the knee, sword right here at the leg. And I guess you can call this feet articulation, but they're just mainly there for the, ro the helicopter mode. So, for size comparison, where did I put them? These right here. Here I have the Fall of Cybertron Vortex. This one's the one that came with the set. With the Grimlock set. He's the best mode out of all of them. That's all I can say. He really is. I like to I like to give him the the fall the fall of Cybertron weapons to Deluxe Vortex. Cause it looks looks good on him and I don't really use his vortex that much. And I didn't even use the uh, Fallen Cybertron figures because when I got them, some of them broke, like Swindle broke and and Onslaught. He's a bad figure. His arms like to fall off. 
And for all he's 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 okay, but his weight starts to pop off. So yeah, I that's why I got these guys. So for trans transformation, the first thing to do is remove all the weapons. Transform to holder helicopter mode. Tabs this right here. Also, he came with this arm weapon he can hold with Zen, but I don't really use it. You just use it for combining mode. So tab that in right here and move this this way. Move this up. Click the leg the legs together. Swivel them all the way around. And then open this up. Move it in. And right there, tab that in right there. If it doesn't like to tap in, just push it right here. Or tab in eventually. There we go, it tabs in. Move this this way. Move it to the front. And move this down. And move the helicopter blades down. And here is Vortex. I don't know why I have this guy right here. He fell down. On the top shelf. Oh. So here is Vortex, and I don't really like that it has anything down here. So that's why they gave um, the combiner feet right there a peg because it looks better like that. It looks like he has some two mini guns down there and sh shoots them right th down there. And with the gun, you can just put it right here. There's two peg holes right here too, or you can put it down here too. But I don't know why. Why would you? So, there we go. Why are you tapping in? Come on. And you can also put put it put it on his hand in there for some reason. And it's tapped off. Great. I really like this helicopter. I really do. It's a great helicopter. This, it's a great helicopter. That's all I'm saying. So yeah, I really like this helicopter. I'm repeating myself again like I always do. So here's size comparison with the, um, the Fall of Cybertron one. And this one is just more of a Cybertron Cybertronian helicopter. And this one is a more realistic helicopter. More modern than this. This is, I guess you can call these windows or, I don't know. I just like spinning this. I wish he had the, he had four four of these blades instead of just two like Alpha Bravo just has which is really disappointing but I guess um Takara did that so that's that's all right then but I don't really have I don't have the, the Takara sets because they're expensive for me and I'm, I'm pretty, pretty broke right now I mean 60 50 dollars and I'm pretty trying to buy trying to find a uh, Grumlock but again, uh, like I said before, he I'm not really interested in that Grimlock. It's not a main priority like Hot Rod was or Rodimus was. Because I already have the Fall of Cybertron Grimlock and that looks I like that one better than the, the new Power of the Primes one. So yeah, I'm just and if I find him I'll buy buy him because I have the money still and I wanna I I kind of want to combine all the Dinobots together. So here is size comparison with uh, Alpha Bravo, and yeah, this guy's pretty. There, you can pretty see, pretty much see that it's just like a shadow glass version of him. Like the, instead of gray, it's just wide. Like they have the. Oh, what's that screeching? Like they have this. Exact same, this exact same decos and just a different paint. Like right here, instead of the blue, it's purple. Okay, let's make that noise. I don't like that noise, but instead of the orange right here, they have the yellow, except for the black right here, which I guess makes sense because that's just how helicopters look like. Kind of sad, kind of disappointed that we only have like one helicopter in time to turn, which is, 
what's his name? Brainstorm? No, what's, what's the other one? Highbrow. Yeah, that one. So, transform him back to robot mode, and then we're done. So, move this right here, untab the arms right here, move them up, untab the section off, move this up, move these aside, and tab this right here, and then open this up, and then tab that in right here, move this all the way around, and what's that? What is that right there? Oh, I guess it was the nail polish I put on like three years ago. Oh well. I'm tap this right here. Move the camera up right here. And then move this a little bit down and untap this right here. And tap that in right there. You can move the, the this this helicopter part, you can move it that like that. Move the the plates this way. So yeah, here was Transformers Combiner Wars Decepticon Vortex. Vortex, I can't talk. I'm gonna review. Who am I gonna review next? I have Swizzle right here. Probably the second favorite of the this way, but here he is with Swindle. and. I have all the Combaticons, so we'll just get put them out. Here is uh Onslaught. And I have a very bad Onslaught. I have another one in box, but I'm gonna keep him like that because I, I really read to remind you of how Combiner Wars was. I have two of them. I have Minasaur and I mean Motormaster and and what's his name? Onslaught. So here are they are. I'm gonna make this real quick because I don't have enough storage in my phone. Here are all the Combaticons in your robot mode. So I think I'm gonna do Brawl next because like he's the new mode out of all of these. I think I'm gonna do Shockwave too, so this is it for this review. See you next video guys. Hey guys, today I'll be reviewing Transformers. Combiner Wars Deluxe Class Brawl, and this guy, he's an alright figure, that's all I can say. He was alright for the time because, I mean, he beats the uh, Fall of Cybertron 1, which was a little bit small, and then and, and his, his legs like to pop off on mine, or the swivel right there, he likes to pop off for some reason. So, this guy, I guess, is, is better than that. This is like kind of the worst mode, one of the worst modes of Combiner Wars because I don't really like this piece right there. It just sits there, it doesn't do anything. It looks it looks really ugly. And then he came with this gun, which remove this. Came with this gun right here. Which I didn't really like. It's really, really small and kind of reminds me of some bolt action rifle. So back here, so he he has this the pistol. I like to call it a phantom pistol. On um, from from what is Fall of Cybertron one had. So I don't really like him. He's an alright figure, but he does his job at combining with Bruticus, which is alright. So here's this comparison with another tank character. Here is Hardhead. And I gotta I gotta say but I like this tank tank mode on this one better than this one because I don't really like the tank mode on this one. There's like two three tanks, uh there was Overlord over here on top. Overlord, uh, Sky Shadow, uh, Six Shot, Megatron, Blitzwing, and others, and Quake, and I guess you can say Frenzy and Rumble. Not Frenzy and Rumble, but 
Frenzy in what's his name? The 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 repaint before that one. I forgot his name. I have him right here, but I just forgot his name. So for articulation, he has a swivel right here. Right here, and can move the arm up and down. So I guess it's just good that's G1 accurate. That's the only good part of it. He has a ball joint right here too. Okay, he likes his swivel right here, but that's for transformation. No, it's not a swivel, it just moves up and down. He has a swivel right here too. That's for combining. He has a swivel right here too. Ball joint right here. Bend at the knee. Move the legs like some ankle tilt. And some, I guess his head is on a swivel too. Yeah, technically he is. So, here, is, here he is with his leg, his fellow leg guy. The leg guys. So, we really don't care that the legs, but out of these two, you're kind of the same. Don't really like this swindle that much because, I mean, it's alright. It could have been better, like could have been used in other mode instead. But I guess it's alright. So for transformation into tank mode. Oh if I didn't say this before, I'm gonna show the combining mode in one one video, like their foot and leg their foot and leg ones. Oh so yeah. I'm gonna move move this move the hands inside. And I mean their arms inside. Move their move the head down. Move this up right here. Just for right now. And then slide that in. Move swivel this all the way around. And move this section right there. Move it in. Actually move move this back in so Open this, move that, this, the part, move, move them the, the, the leg, the leg inside, just push it in. And then tab that in right there. And, almost there, move, in, move this entire section this way. And push it in, there we go, it clicks in. And move this entire sec back. Move this entire section back here. And here he is in his tank mode. And for G1 accuracy, just put this put put this on top because he had some cannons in his back. So yeah, this is a tank mode. He has like four little plastic wheels, disc wheels, which are pretty bad for a tank. Slides around. Hope your drills. So yeah, he just the the turret doesn't tur turn or any doesn't turn like like the tend to turn ones do, but that's that's okay I guess. Overlords don't the overlord modes don't turn either, but that's because they have a reason to. So for size comparison, here he is with Overlord's tank, and you can see he's a little bit bigger. And why does it like to fall down? Why does it like to fall down? He's a little bit bigger and a little bit smaller. Like he's taller, but a little bit smaller. So is this? I I like this one because it looks more realistic than this one. So what else can I compare him with? Here we have Griff. Griff. I just fell down. And who else do I have? I guess that's it. So I really like that it has a Decepticon logo right here and it looks more realistic. He has some paint right here and the wheels are painted too. This dark grayish wheels but so yeah that's that's pretty much for paint 
remove this and put put it like this. I don't know why, but just put it like that. Or you can put the false Cybertron gun right here. So I can look at a little machine gun. So there's really not much to do with the tank mode, really. So for transformation back to robot mode, the first thing to do is move this entire section to the front. Untab these sections right here. And then open these sections up. Slide that in right there. Slide that into here too. And move the camera up. And move this move the entire waist section this way. And move the arms apart. Fold fold out the head and move this entire section in the front. There we go and move the move the the tank turret down. And here we have Braun. So yeah, this was it for Braun. He's in a right figure. But I guess it just it, it does just just his job. I sh he has some paint right here, like some red right here and some blue right there. And he has paint on his eyes just because and I think his head is painted or just might be all one mold. One gray mold. So this is it for Braun. See you next video guys. Hey guys, today I'll be reviewing Transformers Combiner Wars Deluxe Class Swindle. Uh this guy's I don't know, the second least my least favorite. He's alright. He's in a right figure. He does his job just as Braun. This is just gonna be like a repetition of Braun. So he doesn't. He only comes with this gun. I gave him this gun because it's a Fall of Cybertron Swindle gun. And if you haven't seen my other review, I said he broke, which is disappointing for a figure that was worth almost almost a hundred dollars. So I, at least I just get to keep my Fall of Cybertron remark, and the others are just. And some bins. So for hair articulation, he has a ball joint in his head, up and down, ball joint right here, swivel, bends at the elbow, and he has a swivel right here too. That's for transformations, that's for combining actually. And ball joint right here, swivel right here, bends at the knee. Some ankle articulation. So yeah, that's about it. This figure is alright. He came with this weapon too. I think this is this one's his. Yeah, this one's his. This one's brown. He can hold it with his hand. I didn't show it with brown because I this 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 was a dumb review of him. So yeah, what else can, can I compare with them? So here I have for size comparison. Here I have, I don't really have anything. Here I have Time to Turn Nautica, right here, which is just a repaint of blur, just a pink pink repaint, which I don't mind really that much, which. If I get more fanbots, I don't really care if the colors. Here you have some random guy I just found on the floor. Sky Warp. Fall of Cybertron Sky Warp. You know, put put her over here. Fall of Cybertron Sky Warp. So yeah, that's really not much to him. He has some paint right here, he has some Purple, some light blue, some gray right here, some black grayish, some gray right here, and some gray right here too, and some purple on his eyes. And his head is all painted. When I first saw, for when I first um, saw my my slug, I thought he was using um the sumdo head. Where where is he?
I thought he was using the the swindle head for, at first because let me just move this down because it just looks similar to him or or using the the quick slinger mode or slingshot. When I first saw him, I was like, "Oh man, how's we being really lazy?" But then I kept seeing him. It was a different head, so I stopped caring that much. So. For transformation, the first thing to do is remove the weapons. You can plug it, put it in right here or down here. I guess it works like that. So, move the arms. Move the the arm this way. Move the head. Turn it all the way around. Move this section to the front. Move this the head this way. And clip on the legs, click it together, or tab it together, and just not quite just fell. And move the these front the feet, move them to the front. And then actually I forgot one step. Untab the legs. Move move the open the legs up and move them down. Same thing with the other leg. Here, don't click this section down here yet. Just yet, actually move it up. Move it up, and then move the arms here. And here we have swindle. What's making that noise with swindle? The wheels, or the wheels. You can put the, the gun right here, just because. Or put the other one right here. Or you can use um. Where's the brawn? I had him right here. Or you can combine your both guns right here and make it a bigger one, which. Kind of looks like the one you had in G1. You can put the turret right here. And there's nothing you can do with this one. You can put it right here, I guess. Which looks ugly. Or you can put it like this, which even looks uglier. Less than much, really. Yeah, three rolls, and I don't have the hound repaint because I stopped. Stop, I stopped getting them. My last combiner wars figure was probably Skylinks. I stopped carrying them because they were just repaints and repaints every single wave. This is even a repaint. But I need. I need to get um. I need to get it Bruticus. So I. So this one makes sense, but the other ones don't like. Just because he's a jeep, this is a jeep, kind of a jeep, doesn't mean it will be a hound. And look, I mean, a look, it kind of looked like him, but the combiner port in front of his, in front of his chest doesn't really look that good. Same thing with Trail, trail Breaker. I didn't really like that one. I like the mold, but I didn't really like the like that repaint. Didn't make sense to me. I want to get the the three and thirty D, uh, repaint, or the mold. I never got that one. I was actually planning on getting them, but I forgot, so. Yeah. So, for transformation, back to robot mode. Open this up. This this wheel would make no other noise. It's just plastic wheels. Yeah, just this one. Move the feet up. And untab this right there. Untab this right here, move it up. Right there. And then move the arms this way, right here. Move the head up. Move drift aside. And then Open the legs up, pull them down, 
and you tap them right there. Same thing over here. And then move this entire back section up until it kind of pegs in right there. And then turn Sundos head back here. So this was it for Swindle. I mean, he's okay. Like, the feet right there, I kind of like it. I mean, I don't like it. I just, I don't know what I was thinking. But they're too, they're too skinny or too slim for Swindle. So, this is it for this review. See you next video, guys. Which is probably the last Lux, which is Blast Off. He's, I don't know, probably the last one. And then after Ziggy will put a kiss and probably Shockwave. See you next video. Hey guys, today we're reviewing Transformers Combined Wars Blast Off. Did I see Starscream in the last video? I think I did. So this is guy, this guy probably is second second best mode and then the fourth worst mode for some reason. And I'll explain it later, so this guy's just a repaint of Quickslinger, which was a repaint. Which was a repaint of what's his name? Firefly, which doesn't really do. I never got the original Firefly, so I have to use a G2. Same thing with Skydive. I did want to get get them, but well by the time I was looking for them, I never found them, so was which is pretty sad. So here I have Quickslinger. The only other Quickslinger, which is based off them. I don't have the original one one because there was never bought that guy. They're going expensive on on eBay. And I don't really care about about the original one. So I re I actually like Alpha Bravo and Off Road better than than Quick Swinger and Wild Rider. Just because they're new molds and not just repaints of other figures. So you can see the differences right here. Like the head's the same thing. He's just a just a repainted Quick Swinger. And this is just a repaint of Quicksinger D2. There's some there's not a lot of paint. There's some paint right here. There's some yellow right here, yellow right here, Decepticon symbol, some gray right here, gray right here, gray right here. And the purple is just a, some purple plastic. So yeah. I I if you haven't seen my other reviews, I like to give them their G their photo cybertron guns. But this one, this one doesn't match that well. These two pistols don't like, don't, don't doesn't match the the paint of this blast off right here. So I just give him the original one because I mean it looks alright. And I'm planning to get the power of the primes one, the new one. I'm planning on getting this one and just. Combining this one with Starscream, if I ever get him, that's if I ever give him. I have, I have the Quickslinger and uh, what's that everybody guy name? Oh, I forgot his name. But I think I'm gonna combine all of them. So for transformation or for articulation, his he has a ball joint right here, super right here, bends at the elbow. Head articulation, ball joint right here, up and down, swivel right here, and swivel right here, ball joint right here, bends at the knee. So yeah, there are pretty much all of the luxes have the same articulation, pretty much. So for transformation, the first thing to do is move this up and then tap the legs together. And then move this down and move this up or actually down and move the arms down too and then tap that in right there. Move the wings down and here we have blast off and his this entire Front of the jet doesn't like to fold down for some reason, it just doesn't. And I mean, it's a right, a right jet mode for 
the aerial bots, but not really for blast off because he was, it was just a, a space shuttle. Uh, they should have like made a use the awful Bravo mode too and make some kind of space shuttle because he already looks like a space shuttle for some reason. I don't know why. Where is he? I think I have him right here or right here for now. Like, if you remove the if you remove the blue, it looks like a space shuttle. Like, remove the arms. Or, or you give, give him wings. And remove the helicopter blades. It looks like a space shuttle. Could have done that better than that, but... Uh, at least we're getting a Hasbro version of the Unite Warriors blast off. Which is okay. So is... His gun can tab in right here. Same thing with his jet arm. Where is his jet arm? Jet hand, I mean. No, it's not this one. Where is he? Oh, well, it looks like lost it in this big pile. Which is a hands and stuff. So, either way, you can just tab in right there or peg it in right there. Wait, is this one his actually? No, that's I think that's what's his name? Yeah, that's that's Stephanie's bronze. Bro, I mean actually. So it's just just not that really great. So here I have Quick Slinger in his robot mode, I mean vehicle mode. I mean, it's the same mode, actually, it's just the same mode, same mode, nothing, just different paint, just imagine it was blue, or I mean white, same mode, different paint, which is just, which was, um, probably the mo the, um, what inspired Hasbro to make all these co combiner wars, like, times return molds, repaints, and molds actually make sense, like, like, the, um, the Target Masters, the Decepticon Target Masters actually makes sense because they were pretty cool. And with, um, I keep saying oh too much. With, uh, with some of them, like, just because they have the same car doesn't mean it fits the mold. But some of them, like the Way 4, they didn't look that cool, that great with, um, because it's, I can't talk. I can't, I'm trying to explain to myself that I can't. The words aren't coming out of my mouth. Like, I'm thinking about it, but I can't, the words aren't coming out of my mouth. Here I have another jet. Like, just because it's the same, they have, the, like, the same identical car or same type of car doesn't mean it should be repainted as that mode. Like, with, with, um, off-road, he had a, he had a truck, truck, and... I think Ironhide had a truck, or was trying to homage the the movies. But he's just you one, and I don't really like that Ironhide mold because it doesn't look good. I I actually prefer the classics one. I don't know why people hate it, just because it has a lot of panel lines in vehicle mode. I mean, fine, he does, but so I I, I I it looks like a great figure. Too bad it's yellowed or ratchet is yellowed right now. So yeah, for transformation, the first thing to do is move this up, move this down, move the wings aside, and then move the arms up. And then open the, open the legs, and move this down. And there we go. Here he is in his robot mode. And I know that sounded pretty scary. So here he is in his robot mode. So this guy was alright for what he was at the time because that was the only thing we had. And then the Unite Warriors was coming out in a few months. So I guess people got that instead of this one. I don't blame them for what they did. So this is it for this video and we're going to be to the final two parts or three parts.
don't know yet. So see you in the next video, guys. Hey guys, today we're reviewing Transformers Combiner Wars Onslaught, and you can see all the things I have right here. Here's the packaging. This is the first time I'm showing the packaging actually. Here is uh, Bruticus combined. Then what else can I show? Three out of five. Here is a uh, onslaught. Onslaught has made the Combaticons into a nearly unstoppable strike force. He commands his team in pre precision of general and precision is what does that say? I don't know. And expects them to carry out his brilliant plans to perfection. Here he is. Combined all four or five of them. Blast off, Vortex, Onslaught, Sundo, and Brawl. So I will put this aside. Here you have Brawl or Onslaught. I'm gonna just zoom in right here. Switch cameras now. Switch camera angles. So here is Onslaught. And this guy's better than the one I had before. If you know what I'm talking about, it's the Fall Story of Tron version, which is a pretty bad mode for Onslaught. It was pretty bad whenever it was released as a deluxe. That was mistake number one. Mistake number two the elbows, they like to pop off. So yeah, that's pretty. That makes him pretty much pretty a uh, bad mode. So here he is in his robot mode with a gun right here. This is a follow Cybertron gun. The only thing I'm keeping of of them. And the guns he came with with um, are right here. The two guns right here. I don't know why he's looking down. So, so much. Let's see with the legs though. Here he is, and here we go. And this is one problem I have with this part, this onslaught. I like to fall down. Like the knees don't support him that much, and I don't want to open the other one because that's just a reminder of how, how Combiner Wars was. So I guess what I really is doing is just this backpack right here I have right, like Hasbro gave him. Kind of wish it was, you could, you could remove the backpack for some reason. I just kind of wish that would, I could, kind of wish that was, I could do that, but I can. It's just going to fall down. So for, for expansion, he has a ratchet joint right here. And that's for combining mode. Swivel right here, bends at the elbow, or, yeah, bends at the elbow. No waste circulation. Super right here. Bends at the knee. And super. Where are you second? Ratchet right here, and that's for transformation. And his head is on a swivel. So, yeah. That's pretty much it for articulation. For size in person, I have. Let's see if I could get him. Here I have the original mode on um, Hotspot. Yeah, that's in Hotspot. Really, really weird name for him. But I, it, I mean, it's alright. It's. It could have been worse. So here he is, the two of them, and for some reason, Onslaught keeps looking down. Or at least the way I'm looking at him, he keeps looking down. Here they are, the two modes. You can see the, the similarities they have, like the legs are the same, and except for the feet, and the arms right here are the same, and what, right here the crotch piece is the same, and so yeah that's pretty much it for both of them. 
so for transformation the first thing to do is move the arms this way on top of this right here move this open the section up move the head down and don't move that up yet remove the guns move the uh, right there and there we go almost done at least with the front section or the back section actually or actually it is the front section and then move this move in the back the heels in front move in the feet in front of the feet or the legs and then move the move this up and same thing over here move this up slide this down until it fits right there and then tap that in right there and move this section down here we're almost done there just you get a, this, this back cable right here and then move this the guns up back and you can see broke his head move this up I think at least at least I think it, that's what we'll, we'll do to do or at least move that from for right now move this down and slide this back here and there we go here is Bruticus or Onslaught on his vehicle mode it's a pretty nice vehicle mode it has eight wheels name one one transformer that has eight wheels Oh, well, not mostly. There's not mostly a lot that have eight wheels. Hotspot didn't have eight wheels, and I think no, never mind. So yeah, it's a pretty unique vehicle. Don't ex don't know exactly what it is. Just a weird match of stuff like some wings right here, the Septicon symbol right there, some purple right here for the lights, or at least were what were were the lights of of the headlights or not the headlights, but. The, the siren lights. So, yeah, he, he rolls, or at least he, I think he can. This wheel doesn't want to roll. Oh, I forgot to move this section. I think I. No. Oh, is it? Nope. Only the first two wheel, the front two wheels, or the the wheels in the front and the wheels in the back, I like to move them. There's a little part right here where you can put in shockwave. Right here. This is my second. This is actually my second Combaticon I got. This is a tap port right here, but that's for those originally for hotspot. And speaking of hotspot, here he is, and then boy was I wrong. Yeah, hotspot has the same eight, has eight wheels too. I only thought he only had two or a six. Well, this doesn't really matter. So here they are, both of them, both long vehicles. Here is strip. I mean, the size doesn't fit him that well. And if um groove, if I had deluxe groove. It wouldn't really really make sense with both of them. It really wouldn't. But it still doesn't make sense with the, the Legends one. Still sad and disappointed I never got never got to protect the bots. So for transformation, the first thing to do is Oh and just in case you were wondering, yes these guns do pop off. But I just like to put them right there because they're more they're accurate to the original G1 toy and the G1 design. Which is this base? This is based off. So move the feet up first, and then split the legs apart. Move the feet down here. Swivel them the other way. Move down the heels. And then spread apart the legs, the arms, and move the arm. And there, and section up, 
and move move the wings right here. Or move that down. And then slide this in right here. And then tab that in right there. Or it actually doesn't tab in, just it just rest sits there and rest. So and then move that head up. And here we go. Here is Onslaught in his robot mode, and this guy was okay for for what he was. I'm tempted to open the the oh crap oh, the the one I have in box, but then I don't really use him in in robot mode, so it doesn't really affect it. affect him. So keep him in. I only combine him so. This is it for this review. See you next video, guys. I'm gonna do brick his next. So, yeah, then still wants to flop around. Yes, he still wants to. Alright, see you next video, guys. And here is all of the Combaticons together and ready to combine. So, the first, first two are they gonna be the legs. And my trap wants to fall down. First two are gonna be the legs, which are Swindle and Brawn. So first thing to do is remove this. Zoom in. I'm gonna move this to the top, actually, just because. So here is Brawn, or not Brawn, but Brawn, Brawn right here, and you saw he's gonna be transformed into the. The vehicle mode or the tank mode. And move this down. So will this this way and if you have seen my review, you already know how to transform him and yes, and his like just pop off. And so move this to right here to the inside the leg and tab that in right there. Or actually no no never mind. And then right here right there and then to do next thing to do is move this right here tab that in right there and move the combiner port to the top then tab then this or pick this pick this in right here to the combiner feet or yeah the combiner feet so the next one to do is swindle Move his head to the back, and then move the. Since it's just transforming him into the vehicle mode, except don't move the feet to the front. And then same thing over here. Just do slide this in right here. It's it's just it's best right there. See those two sections right there. Or slide in. And then do the same thing. Right here, move the arms right there, and here we go. Here is the commander feet, and peg that in right there. And the problem with onslaught keeps comp keeps going on. And here is blast off. These are not going to be taking that much time to transform him. Transform the arms. So he's going to move the. Combiner port right here, and then move the arms and bend them at the elbow. And then tab in the feet together and turn them and bend them right here. And then move these wings down or up and transform the combiner like command com combiner hand together. Um, transform it, just pull this out. Can't pull it out. Just pull it out earlier. Don't have much nails. And then oh, this screw right here, screwdriver. And then just slides in here or pegs in right there too. And move the, the arm right here. The thumb actually in right there. But right here and same same thing with vortex. He's not going to take that much to transform, so 
have these together right there and move the arms this way like this and bend and then move the command report to like this for the transformation and bend them at the knee and there we go here is here he is in his combined let combined arm mode so do the same thing here just transform the arm the hand and there we go it fits right there and now this one's gonna be this one's gonna take the most time so first thing to do is open this up move this down and then open these sections up move them like right here and then get cabin right here same thing over here and then move this these, uh, these parts right here and then move the heels in here and move this up same thing over here and then move this down for right now to turn this section all the way around and move this down and then tab these little sections right there right here these tab sections right there move this down and move the guns up so now I didn't move the command port up there we go and slide that slides in right there same thing over here and move this side you're gonna switch angles angle of the camera zoom out there we go and and then slide that in right there too same thing over here tabs in right there there we go and I guess no no mind it doesn't and here is Budokiz in his robot mode this combined mode actually and here is shockwave I didn't think I showed him in the review or at least at time recording this and it slides in right there in his hands this is a great figure this is a great com 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 combined combined mode compared to the to the fall of Cybertron 1 so for size comparison here I have them next to Overlord right here or just move them over here and he's about taller but then a leader size class I do want to show them next him next to some of the combined some combiners but uh it's gonna take some while just to move all these spheres out of the way like well plug this charger and this is going to take some time away right there, it's just to remove all these figures right there. And then I don't want to get Menasaur because he, he likes to flop around and then he's going to fall apart. So yeah, I'm going to show you right here, just, I'm just going to show you Bruticus with Overlord right here. Let me put them to the top again. So for articulation, he has a rod head joint right here, a swivel right here on the arms, swivel right here, bends at, bends at the elbow, wrist articulation, same thing over here, swivel right here, rod head joints, and his hand fell off, great. It's going to be really weird to see him with the power of the prime's hand instead of the combiner wars hand unless they do the opposite way which is the combiner hand combiner wars hand instead of a power of the prime's hand which i mean it, it will be i won't be disappointed so yeah he has articulation right here bends at the knee not really much to do and his head is on a ball joint, look side to side. Can't turn our way around for some reason. Can he? Yes he did. Yes he can. He can't turn our way around. 
So yeah, this is pretty much it for Bruticus. Let's see the backs, back of him. If you want to make him G1 accurate, and move the, move this right here, and move the same thing over here. Move the feet, and there we go. G1 accurate Bruticus. So yeah, this is it for this review. See you next video, guys. This is probably gonna, um, probably gonna edit all these clips together to one big giant review and then upload them separately together. So yeah, this is it for this review. See you next video, guys.